It's got timber and stone. Hi everyone, and welcome to episode one of the Gasually Avid Gamer Place Timber and Stone. New game, new series, awesome. Okay, really quickly, Timber and Stone is a colony building game where basically all you're trying to do is see how long your colony can survive against the ever increasing hordes that just grow in strength the more and more you grow your settlement. So, with that said, let's unpause this bad boy. And people get working around. Oh, now people need jobs. So we're going to design. We want to remove some trees. We want to chop mature because we need we need wood before we can do anything. So we're going to chop any tree that's fully mature, like thems. And those. Okay. So now that our wood chopper is working away, let's get our miners moving. So, because you need wood and stone to make basic tools. So, design, dig mine. We're going to put the entrance to our mine right about there, I think. We're going to make it seven wide. And we need to go... I guess we're going that way. All right, so then our miners, as soon as they have stone picks to work with, are going to start dig in there and next up we want to get going right off the bat is we've got three farmers who have absolutely nothing to do and once I get them working we'll uh, we'll slow down a little bit and I'll explain just a little bit more all right so we want a cotton farm we want three by four keep them small at first a flax farm keep them small at first a turnip farm. There you go. Do we have more seeds? I thought we had more seeds. Was this the first one a corn farm? I can't remember. And of course, it doesn't tell you. Oh, that's a corn farm. Okay, so farms. Corn, we did cotton. Do we do flax? Let's turnip farm. Let's flax. Okay, now we need cotton. Great. Cotton will give us cloth later. Flax will give us fiber for twine. And then the uh, corn and turnips will give us food. Now you see my farmer down here is complaining because he doesn't have a hoe. And that's a <laughs> that's a funny way of saying he needs a tool so let's look at our unit list as you can see there are a ton of pr professions available far more than the eight uh, settlers that I have to deal with uh, early game I'm starting with three farmers to get them working a forager to find us food because farms take forever to get going in this game uh, next I've got two miners working away one of those miners will eventually become a builder then we have a stonemason. The stonemason's job is to use the wood from our wood chopper and the stone our miners get to start creating basic tools. So once we get some uh, tools into our, or get some wood and stone in our supplies, uh, the stonemason will start making tools, start making uh, stone picks, stone axes, uh, stone hoes, full thing, uh, full nine yard. And so he's going to start moving like that. And let's kick up the speed a little bit. And as you can see, both of our miners lost their pickaxe. We're actually waiting for this cat. And how is he doing on his inventory? Okay, so as soon as he's done chopping that tree, he should be done. Oh, and we, gotta, we have to give orders to our forager. So... Let's see, we want him to loot dead, dispose of dead, and gather berries. Those are your orders. And actually, while we're doing it, let's make sure everybody else's orders are set. Uh, we don't want to babysit this guy, so we'll have him auto-chop trees. Nothing we can do with the farmers. Uh, he can train under level 3. Yeah, okay, I think we're, I think we're set now. So everybody's moving along. Dude, are you still chopping? 
he, he's still chopping. Okay, it's going to take us a little longer. And our miners are now idle because they don't have they don't have a uh, pickaxe to mine with. But we do have some stone. Speaking of that, let's slow down just a little bit and let's take a look at resources. Storage, we've already got wood. Why, why is there wood? Okay. What are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. You're training. You need to stop training. And let's close this because you'll build stuff and you'll be plenty good anyway. All right, so let's look at some more resources. We're gonna need a wood pile very soon. And actually, while we're doing, before we look at our resources, let's build, let's put a few more things in place. Um, dig mine, objects, workshops. Okay, we want a workbench. We'll put a workbench there. We want a stone forge. A stone anvil and a timbering bench. We'll put the timbering bench up here close to where our our wood chopper is doing all of his work. All right, so now our stonemason is building things, not tools. Why aren't you building tools? Okay, we don't have the materials to craft a stone anvil. Why is that? We need twine? Do we not have twine? Resources. You get a random uh, selection of starting resources. And let's see what we got. Uh, we saw the seeds we had, and we're currently using them all for our farms, which is great. Raw materials. We've got some wood. We've got some stone. Plenty of wheat. Flax fiber. But we don't have... Uh oh, what's the matter? Oh, we've got not enough wood. Okay, design, objects, storage, wood, raw wood stockpile. Let's put that right there. And that should work. Uh, process materials. Do we have any twine? We've got a little bit of cloth, one twine. We need two twine. However, what we can do. So we can say we want to maintain some twine. Let's see where where can we go? Where can we do that? At? I'm I'm new to this game. Sorry guys. Uh, twine, Mainta uh, maintain maintain and storage. We want to maintain ten twine minimum. Okay, now we just need a tailor to do that. So we've got this miner. We will go ahead and convert him to a tailor briefly and why aren't you working okay is he not is he not a good enough tailor I guess not uh, put him back to a miner yes you need a pickaxe I know why aren't you working all right let's pause stonemason he's a level three stonemason I, okay, I'm a Muggins. I got I got all excited and I was like, oh, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, but you have to tell him to make things. <laughs> Oddly enough, it's a weird game. So one of the things you can do is you can tell your people that you want to maintain a certain number of every type of item in your storage. So let's see, we've got we'll do one knife, one shears in storage. Stone tongs are important, but we only need one blacksmith, so we'll only do one. Herding crook, we'll do one. Stone hammer, two. Stone pick, we've got two miners, so we should probably do four. Stone axe, we've got one wood chopper, so just one. And then stone hoe, maintain and store, uh, Let's maintain five. Five should work. Now, let's watch him go. <laughs> that was kind of silly of me. See, off. Now, let's see. What's it say he doing? He's crafting stone tongs. Of, cra of course, you craft the thing nobody else really needs currently. But uh, we'll get there eventually. All of our people are a little bored, but that's okay. Um, who do we have? Who can do 
stonemason duty for a little bit. Uh, the forger, we don't need the farmer. Yeah, we'll put this guy as a stonemason. He'll start making things, and we should be good. Then in, in a second, we'll switch him back to a, to being a farmer. Okay, making an axe, making all that good stuff. Okay, we've got one pickaxe going. Good. Next up, hopefully, he's got a stone hoe going. He's got another stone hoe going. That'll get two of our farmers going. Uh, our forager should be going great guns. You don't need a whole lot to pick berries. And while that's working, we're going to convert. As soon as he's done with this stone hoe, we're going to convert him back to a farmer. Now, early game, there's a bit of a finicky kind of balancing act. Like your your wood chopper, your miners, and your farmers all just pretty much, and your forger really, go just do that job pretty much constantly. Your stonemason, or at least I found, I've been bouncing him back between carpent carpentry, blacksmithing, and stonemasonry uh, pretty much constantly. And it, it's kind of a finicky balancing act. Now, what else do we need to try and maintain? First, let's see what we've got. Um, we want to track our food. We want our food to appear on our screen. Dirt, because it's building material. Raw wood. Raw stone. Uh, we'll track wheat. And right off the bat, copper ore is a little bit more important than anything else. Uh, process material. We want to track twine. Track ingots. And there we should be good. Oh, and weapons. Clubs we want to maintain in storage. Uh, we want 10 in storage of all times because they just take wood and we can use them as trade goods. Now, speaking of trade goods... What do we want to trade for first? What kind of farms do we have here? We have cotton farm, turnip farm, flax farm, corn farm. So, ah, and night night setting. Uh, to, to help things out, let's go with, where is objects, lighting, campfire. Put a campfire there campfire there keep things a little more lit up for you so now about trade we want to trade for seeds so we want to buy cotton I think we did corn do we have a wheat farm I don't know that we have a wheat farm oh, wait what's over in storage our tools are almost over uh, we'll be okay we'll be okay with tools all right, so what was that again? Cotton, turnip, flax, corn. Cotton, turnip, flax, corn. Carrots we're buying. Potatoes we'll buy then. Wheat we'll buy. Pumpkin we'll buy. We won't be able to buy all of them at once, but it should be fine. All right, so our stonemason is not busy. That means everybody's got a tool, and that's great. So let's jump him over to Carpenter, and he can start making those clubs. Oh, and we need a masonry stockpile now. Uh, as you can see, our storage is getting a little kind of crazy. Objects, storage, masonry, masonry stockpile. Put you right next to the entrance to our mine. That should be fine. And tools, what do we need to build a tool chest? We need a level 3 carpenter. Alright, so what do we need to do that? Well, you need a uh, level 3 carpenter, and you need uh, timber, which you can make out of logs. So, we'll take... Actually, I think I already made the timbering bench, didn't I? Alright, so we'll go to resources, process materials, timber. How much timber do we want to maintain in storage? Well, to start off with, we'll just do 16. 
And where on earth is our carpenter? Okay, making a club, earning those levels. Good, good, good. So let's go ahead and kick the speed up a little bit. We've got wood coming in, which is great. Design, dig mine. All right, so actually those guys are good for a little bit. Got a farm working. And oh, we'll slow it down a little. And why are we slowing it down a little? Because uh, we're in the middle of the night. And I really don't... Uh, the next thing we want to do is create a road. Create four roads, uh, actually, uh, to be specific. Uh, we need traders to be able to come in. And for a trader to, become, uh, to come into your settlement, you need at least one road that connects to the edge of the map. Uh, the, more, the more sides of the map you connect to, the better off you are. So we'll wait till daylight to do that because it's, frankly, it's a little dark and trying to plan roads during the, uh, in the light or in the dark is, is really just kind of hinky. Morning has rolled around and let's get some tool storage going on because we keep pushing the limit on that. And I made some timber during the night, so that should be fine. Uh, objects, storage. Tools, tool chest. And I guess we'll put it right there. And we should have a carpenter somewhere. Who is our carpenter? Nope, you're a stonemason. No, that was my wood chopper. <laughs> uh, stonemason, jump to you. You are idling like an idling idler. So, get back to work. He won't be able to make that till he's level, level 3, but he's got a bunch of clubs queued up that should get him where he needs to go. Alright, so while this is happening, we want some roads. Uh, why? Because we want traders, we want to buy seeds, we want lots of farms. Because uh, ideally, we want to get away from having a forager, uh, mostly because foragers are horrible. Or in basically tons of danger. So let me just show you one road we do, and let's go ahead and make it too wide. And you can do up to f a length of 50. And then we press the up button to raise it. There we go. Full road there. Let's go. One more. Wow, people. Yeah, we're just going to go right over that rock. I don't care. Traders can, can do it or not. Two. Does that work? That seems to have worked. What's this? Ah. There we go. And go to two. Take it down. And now you won't actually build anything on this. When I start getting decorative later, I will probably do so. Oh, hey, what happened? There we go. Oh, uh, a wolf already. Okay, uh, as you can see, my game's paused. We've got we've got one road. Actually, you can't see it until it's there. But that road is connected here, so a trader can appear there and wander into our town. One other thing we need for a trader to show up is we need a hall, which doesn't have to be huge, and it do actually doesn't have to be a building. Once again, we'll make it into a building later. I'm absolutely certain. But... We really only need about that much. Now, uh, a wolf has been spotted by Neville. Neville is probably our herder. Let's go there. Just one wolf. Yeah, okay, Neville, do you even have a club yet? This is bad. This is real bad, guys. 
No, Neville, you don't have a bloody club. All right, so let's go through our guys and see who has a club. Jonathan has a club. All right, Jonathan, you are now infantry. Who else has a club? Mary Moore, our miner. You are also now infantry. Oh, you are actually got some experience added already. That's great. And then who else? And Leonard, our other miner. You are now infantry. Close that. Set a place for them to gather. Go to military guard positions. Set one there. And that. Now we need to make it a little bit bigger so we can have multiple guards there. Click on Neville. Have Neville run this way. And now our, our infantry cats. Jump to them because you need orders. You need to know how to behave. You need to stand at a guard position when you are an infantry. Could have done this earlier, didn't. Stand at guard positions, stand at guard position, stand at guard position. All right, so this wolf will probably chase Neville constantly. Yep. Ah! Wolf's been spotted again. The wolf is sneaking up on us. So unpause it. I've got it set to pause every time we spot a monster. That way we I don't have to just have a, a freak out trying to figure out where it's at. No, 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 no. Everybody come this way. And yes, see my infantry. They're all charging the wolf. And wolves are smart, so they run away. <laughs> but my, inventor, uh, my infantry is not a, a big fan. Uh, oh. Now let's go ahead and pause that and we'll reset it to everybody uh, or we'll reset everybody to their old jobs. So what I had done is I had told, I've told all of my settlers to always keep a club on them at all times, but unfortunately only three, only three clubs have been made. So we only had these three guys, but it seems to have worked. So I think you were a farmer. Yep. And then we had our three, our two miners. So then last thing, we can go ahead and remove this guard position. That way it doesn't confuse anybody anymore. And then we can tell Neville to gather the resources from this wolf. So we'll get some fur, all that good stuff. So we can make more twine. It's great. And we'll even get some, uh, some meat. All right. So everybody's getting back to work. So we're working. So we're working well. We've got, we've got our farm in. Who's this? Uh, he's still making a club. I have a feeling we need tools now. So we're going to switch him back to stonemason. Again, this guy, he's kind of, you just got to bounce him around. But I'm going to end the episode here because I think we're running a little long. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of the Casually Avid Gamer Plays Timber and Stone, the first episode. I can't wait to get into some creative building, but we have to make sure our, our people survive first. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button, click that subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys next time and have a great week.